Hello everyone, my name is Ray Laser and welcome back to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Ring of Fates. In this episode, we're gonna actually fight a boss in a second, but first we still have to check our inventory. I'm sorry, I'm going to put you through this over and over again. So let's read about this hatchet. Everyday tool for chopping firewood and clearing brush. Too heavy to swing easily. So I suppose that's why it has a low damage point. Refined copper, refined iron, iron weapon. Designed for a sturdy metal weapon for clavets, selkies, and lotis. Alright. Materials. What is near? We have a tree branch. A lightweight yet sturdy piece of wood, often used to craft weapons. Craft weapons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Moofer, which is a pelt of thick texture and healthy shine, used to manufacture silk and leather. A skull, a bone head that looks like it's about to burst out laughing, a disturbingly strong material. I guess they are thick headed. Thick skulled? I just ruined something, I'm sorry. The powder of essence of ice, alright. Iron, a fairly hard metal component used to make military equipment. Iron shard, a small bronze mineral fragment. Its actual iron content is too low to make any anything useful. Flan goo. A jelly-like substance used to strengthen surfaces. The secret of the flan monster's power. A lizard crest. A sharp shiny comb resembling a knife, valued as a material for making weapons. A lizard scale, which is a sharp stiff scale valued as a material for making weapons. Red faders with the essence of fire. And that's pretty much it. Cool. Can we read about our own equipment? Read about that. A blade of copper material is not very powerful, used mainly for practice, despite saying that it was used for military purposes. Bareheaded, no buffer for blows to the brain. <laughs> I like that, there's an item for that. Kids clothes, run of the male children's clothing. It's, it has shoddy patchwork in places. And the power ring. And an expensive ring for available everywhere, increases attack power. So that sounds like something a fuck would want to use. Ugh. What is wrong with you? This place is making me... Blech. Yuri, what's the matter? Tell me. I feel sick. The bell sound of the... The sound of the bell keeps ringing in my head. I think I'm gonna... Huh? No way! Where'd he come from? Yuri, come on, shake it off, shake a leg! Finally, the bell stopped. What? What's going on? Get with it, will you? Do something about that! Whoa, what is it? Well, it looks like a, uh, a something that's about to fuck you over. How should I know? It just showed up! Ah, it's coming this way! Alright, me and a boss battle with a typical red crystal and rings of fate. I'm gonna just work on you a little bit. I like hitting his uh, backside. When he gets up, he can stomp and make a shockwave. Of course, during that time, he also shows off his crystal. If you can hit it. He casts spells, which we don't have to worry too much about. I believe, but I don't remember. If you use a magistite, I believe he turns himself over afterwards. So we're going to use one and test this fury. It appears that is not the case. Alright, we got a land. We landed a hit on the crystal, so that's alright. I worry that this boss fight might end up like the scorpion where, well, they just keep uh, standing beyond. Maybe I should uh, attempt to land a magicite in there. Right in there. I don't know. This is gonna hurt. Oh, this is really good. Oh, yes, we did it. Alright. We can stomp on his crystal all we want until he turns himself over, which is quite a few shots. So I guess we know what to do now. When he's moving up, we have to use a magicite. 
good. Alright. This boss battle is going pretty swimmingly. Nice and easy. Alright. Motion time. Nope. Oh, that hurt. Oh, it still works. Alright, good. I think we can end the fight right here and right now. Yes, we can. That was a nice and easy fight. Looked at all of that loot. We're gonna wait on that little uh, level spawner to come down here so we don't accidentally run into it. And we're gonna grab a bunch of common items that we've already found earlier. A fair share of gill, a behemoth claw. And I suppose that enemy was a behemoth. Well then. Uh oh. What now? Oh! Oh, it's running off! Looks like you didn't kill it after all. Looks like he got away. That's not good. How can you be so calm? We have to go after him. Huh? What's the big deal? I say we leave him alone. Hello? What about the crowd of people in the plaza? If he starts stomping around there, it will be a big deal. Hmm, you might be right. A monster of that size could do a lot of damage. What are we waiting for? You. <laughs> Great. I love the dialogue in this game. It's really cheesy, but it's it's humorous in its own point, so I really enjoy it. Papa! Thank the stars, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. We were at the plaza. Just like we promised. Yeah, we heard the bell ring three times. That was strange. I was there when the bells chimed three times too. Well, I'm just glad to see that you two are alright. What do you say we head home? Yeah! Jelenka, please! Just need to wire yourself to say ghost next time. Come on. What is it, Papa? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Let's get going. We don't want Mif and Alhanalem to start worrying about us. Alhanalem. I don't... That name is hard to say. We sure don't. by finding her. It is as you've described, quite a remarkable specimen. I serve to please, my lord. Ours is nearing the end of its usefulness. This replacement comes at the perfect time. There should be no question with regard to quality, sire, since I am well aware of her lineage. The blood runs thick in this one. Unfortunately for her. However, I'm surprised our old friend still lives. Hm. To think that mere swain of the Star Singer broke our spells. Still, in the end, he is merely a man. He cannot hope to resist us. All shall be as you wish, sire. Slowly but surely, they shall hear the footfalls of their impending doom. Now go! Yes, sire. <laughs> Such a ravishing blood moon we have this fine evening. The next will be even better.
Yeah. Morning, Yuri. Wow, Yuri. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Hey, Jelenka. Huh? Can't you be a little less active, at least, in your sleep? <laughs> Alright, well, the bed gets made, the soup is still cooking, so things are just fine, even though there was a odd turn of events over there. Anyways, let's go check out in Ella Helms and Meef's house. What's going on in there? Actually, let's save. Still messing up my jump with my uh, action button. Don't worry about that. Alright, let's take a looky. Oh, hey, where's Al? Looks like Al's not hanging around. Maybe we can look for me. Maybe she's upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh? Oh. <laughs> what is it now? Meef, my lady, it's so nice for you to draw a morning bath for me. I was sore from my travels, but I feel better already. Ah, life is wonderful. Oh, no need to thank me, Stiltsy. It's equivalent exchangey. You're giving me the stock that I needy. Ah, yes, you're always cooking up a storm. Indeed. They say good soup has to start from wait. Stock? Good morning, kitties. Good morning, me. Have you seen Al? The lanky middle AG birdie man said he was going to Mount Val to get some medicinal herbies. Really? When was this? Just a minute before you two came in, eh? I thought you might have seen him outside, eh? You know what that means, Jelenka? You bet. It's hunting time! Good lucky! Tonight's menu is chicken stewie. Ah, say, Meef dear, it's getting awfully hot. Think you could turn down the heat a bit? Patience, Stoatsy. You have to wait until the water's bubbly and boily. Once it reaches the boiling point, I'll turn it down to a simmer until the meat falls off the bony. Oh, oh, okay. Ah! You promised me hot that you'll turn it down to a simmer. How about you, Stoats, again? Hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Alright, so looks like uh, in the morning we already have some silly shenanigans going on in, the, in Al's laboratory. Anyways, let's head on out. You see Al Helm just chilling out outside. Looking all suspicious like. All clear. Ow! Uh oh, uh oh. Ay! Hmm, ha, hmm, ha, hmm. I'm afraid not. Aw, oh, come on. It would be impractical. Wounds could be critical. Put you in the hospital. Oh, alright. Yippee! One condition, you are to follow my instructions to all to letter if you are to go at all. Yes, sir! Looks like Al gives up quite easily, I'm afraid. Now you must give me your full attention, Oro. Mount Bao is locale known as the youth as a training ground to hone our skills both physical and mental. Many of the contraptions allow passage slowly through the use of our tribal abilities. With that in mind, let's, let us head for Mount Bao. Alright, so I believe Al has joined our party now. Anyways, I don't think we really need to check our home. I don't know where Father's up to. Maybe he's up on the hill, taking a look. Where's he gone? Ah, whatever. I'm sure Papa's up to something silly. Anyways, looks like we have Al Hanahlam in our party now, which is three levels above us. Let's enter Mount Val. At last, our arrival. What do we do? Take a look over there. The beautiful thing of Mount Val. Wow, that's a big tower of things, tribal abilities everywhere, and a bunch of Moogle looking plants. Um, oh, it's a Moogle. Almost, it's a Moogle plant. A type of vegetation with decoration floral. In full bloom, it closely resembles a Moogle. The pollen distribution method is aerial. So you want us to pick... <laughs> Who is she, Al? Why is your demeanor quizzical? No need to play dumb with us. Who are the flowers for? 
Oh, I get it. You finally got a girlfriend. Good for you, Al. Ahem. Moogle plants are herbal. They're used for making restorative concoction for purposes medicinal. Ha, <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Al. Sure, we'll play along. Mum's the word, eh, Al? My symphony... My sympathies about your mother, but please pay attention. Ordinarily, the plant is not to us beneficial. But when it blooms, there is a transformational chemical. Only now is it at its optimal. I can see why you would want to have some for an occasion special. <laughs> oh, whose birthday is it? Anyway, our purpose here is not to gather Mugo plants as ingredients essential. It's not? Then why were you going on about flowers for your girlfriend? <laughs> That's because, yeah, yeah, how come, Al? If you can't keep up, don't interrupt! We have a singular goal. The Mega Moogle Plant, which only grows in the cold, elevated climates like the one found here on Mount Val. If I have calculated the season correctly, we should find up at the mountain's pinnacle. Okie dokie, typical. Anyways, Kupo, Kupo, I'm glad you're here, Kupo. It's freezing up here. Well, let's begin. Uh, I mean, I mean, what a coincidence for us to be meeting like this. Let me take this opportunity to share the basics of cooperating with friends in battle, and the youth tribe abilities too. All right, yeah, please share. You've been up here for a while. Why not? Then first, let me take your items because we won't need them. Don't worry, Kupo. I'll give them back when we're done. Poof. <laughs> okay, let's begin. I'm going to explain how to use how to change characters. Now that you have Alhanahalam in the party, the character panel has Alhanahalams has been added to the left side. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Alhanaham has been added to the left side of the bottom screen. You can use this to switch between Yuri and Alhanaham. Kupo. To change characters, just touch the panel of the character you want to control. So in this case, if we select Al, it will switch over and you can see the background changes to the Yuke's tribal symbol. You have switched from controlling Yuri to controlling Al. Sometimes during your adventures, the characters that you don't control may get lost. If that happens, just press L to call them over wherever you are. Hold L and your friends will follow you wherever you go. Would you like me to go over this again? Nope. Next, allow me to explain about Piling Rings Magical. Piling magic involves two or more rings and an effort cooperational. When piled, the resultant magic is more powerful than what can be produced by a ring single. To pile magic rings with an ally, first you must select a magic site and produce a target ring. At this time, the panel of the two characters who is able to pile magic on your ring will start reacting to a phenomenon of light sympathetical. When in this state, touch the panel of the player the character with the magic pliable. To have your ally produce another target ring to pile on additional. When the rings meet, they start shining bright, which at this point can be activated to activate the effect magical. So, as you can see, two fire magic sides will cast Fira, the result which would be a magic more powerful. Let's finish our tri spell trial. One, two, three. As should have been visible, the pilot spell magic dealt more damage than normal. An ally's magic site usable remains just as it was prior to changing character controllable. It may be wise to set in advance the magic sites for character each character to pile up magical. Of course, care is needed since a sufficient quantity of magicites is required to pile rings magical. Would you like to study once more the piling of rings magical? No! Next! Then we are done with the piling magic tutorial. Next, allow me to explain about magic threads, the huge ability tribal. 
This is called a Mage's Needle, a pole with storage of powers magical. By drawing power, magic power from it, we can activate various contraptions magical. For instance, We can draw the magic thread from the Mage's Needle to light the magical candle. Would you like to see once more how to light the candle magical? No, let's move on. Then I want to demonstrate to I want you to demonstrate to me that you are sufficiently knowledgeable. So I presume they want me to light that up now. Use the touch screen by lighting the other candle magical. Alright, so we're gonna click this and we can drag it over to activate it. With both candles lit, the barrier has disappeared. We can now proceed through the portal. The magic thread can activate many other contraptions magical. By the way, at the expense of SP, we can also draw threads from a magicite for an attack magical. The knowledge may someday pr prove useful. This concludes the explanation of Yuke's tr abilities tribal. Mm. Let's go harvest the Mega Moogle plant on the summit of Mount Val. My work here is done. Farewell. Well, you can finally go warm up. Moogle. We're probably going to be playing as uh, Al here for the duration of this area at least. I usually like maining uh, either Al or Yuri, one of the two. In my first playthrough I mained Yuri, the next I mained Al. Yuri is more combat focused so he'll have an easier time playing through it, but playing as a Yuke is also very fun. So it's between these two and obviously all the characters are pretty balanced in their own ways. Now, let's see this magic site. We can also light this up and activate it to make a shit ton of power. As you can see, that drained 50. Now, you can stack magic sites. As we can see here, I'm going to go through the tutorial over again. And this makes clear up, which heals us only a measly 60. But, if you use the huge tribal ability, you can actually draw this and color yourself over and over and over. And this will heal us a significant amount compared to before. This includes using the revival or the heal magicites or any magicites as the fact. So with that being in mind, I'll probably be using the Yuke's ability in order to heal us a lot more often considering how effective it is. Anyways, in the next episode, we're gonna take on Mount Val and go look for the Mega Moogle plant. I'll see you then.